Welcome, I'm Dr. Paul Smolin, the founder of Doxmo.com. Our motto, portable, practical pediatrics, and you're about to see why. Thank you for joining us today. Now, I've spent years making my blog, I've been telling people things, but now we're going to start showing you things with, a, with these YouTube videos. Let's get started with today's topic, which is twisted legs. Parents are all the time asking them, why does my baby have bow legs? Why do their feet turn in? Why do their feet turn out? Well, to understand this, you've got to go back all the way to the womb. There's not much space in there, and babies are confined for a long time in a cramped position. And this is the genesis of abnormal leg and foot position in very young children. So, with the help of my uh, model, serendipity, I'm going to demonstrate to you why babies have crooked legs. And parents tend to worry about three different leg deformities. There's the old bow legs, when the lower leg, the tibia, is bowed can't demonstrate that on serendipity. Her legs will not bow. That's called tibial torsion. They worry about when the feet are crooked, and I can't demonstrate that either, but when the foot turns inward, inward this way, that's called metatarsis. These are your metatarsal, adductus. Adductus means in. And then when they turn, when the whole leg turns out. Now, if there was enough room for babies to get in the womb like this, every baby would come out with straight feet straight legs, the story would have a happy ending. But they can't fit that way. So the babies have two choices. They can fold themselves like this, and that tends to generate the tibial torsion. You can see how the lower leg would be bent, and the foot can drape over the other leg, and that's called metatarsis. Okay, so uh, there's that position. Or a baby can get really creative and sit Indian style this way, and then you can see that those babies in the first few years, their legs are going to tend to turn out, their feet are going to turn out, and that's called femoral, this is your femur, femoral retroversion. You know, when you're in retroverted, your foot is out like that. When you're antiverted, you're in like this. So, uh, two positions babies can, can assume, generally. There's this position, and then there's the sitting Indian style. So now you know why babies have twisted legs and crooked feet. Uh, but the good news is that time and gravity are your baby's best friend. They'll, you, time and gravity will usually fix uh, these uh, deformities. Once a, a child starts walking, their legs will start to take on the shape that gravity molds them into. Just a little bit of tincture of time. Now, if you have questions about your child's feet, legs, or anything else, make sure that you visit that wonderful person you call your child's pediatrician. Until next time.